<laughs> well, thank you. We are back. We are back. We are back. Of course, we've been listening to Mr. Tambiri, who is uh, the friend of Lord, and uh, he was telling us about the hustles he went through with alcohol, and the wife that stood by him and made sure he she corrects him to be on the straight and the narrow. Well, she's here with us, and I just forget since she's here. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and let's welcome Hannah Asonga. <laughs> All right, Hannah. There we go. There, there, and there. Please have a seat. Oh, but, oh she wants to speak to you. Yeah. No problem. Eba mm. uh, mm. Hannah Kwaba. Who could you bring here? Now we take some of our cano. Now hard drink, pa. Now hard drink, pa. Now we share the first one. Orange salsa. Now, kakaka don't know kakaka. But by the name of Kavano, in person. A man for whom said, Maybe worry going to say, Maybe I'm in so bejay. Well, I'm talking to her about uh, whether he had been a drinker from the time they first met. And she said, Well, when they first met, he, he was drinking, but it was not on this level, you know. And she didn't tell people that he was, he had a drinking problem because she didn't want to be stigmatized. And people start talking about, Oh, he's getting married to a drunkard. You see, Hannah. Time when they do your own, say, ah, a day a yakuboni, I have to do something about it. Make up maybe that name in your mince, me call me way a bear dory. Anna, oh no, what called boy bed, dawa, on who said, I'm off a celebrity in a bar. Hm, out dory. It's in that all down from morning to evening. Now, still no down, let me catch your coffee, say, or coffee by the say, what's wrong with my husband? Let me say. Or you are in your phone. So now we are going to book So now we are last night in Wow. From morning to evening, no, we be are going to. I me done in no. So in Sunday we be are going. Oh, now we are going to go last. Wow. So we were talking about when she started realizing that this this is, could be a serious problem, and she's saying how during the adoring of their child, he was drunk and totally wiped out. You know, couldn't even, didn't even see what was going on, you know, because he was gone. And after the adoring, sometime in the evening, saw that he was foaming around the mouth and everything. Let me, do, do you remember those days? Yes, you I. Know, you remember the yes, adoring? I, yes, I wanted to leave early in the morning and she cautioned me that today is um, uh, the, our baby's um, adoring. And I said, what, what is my rule? And she said, I should. <laughs> and, uh, really? Yeah, she, she, in fact, she was, she was the brain behind Adore. I don't fancy Adore. We normally, when you, we from the, that community or the Greeny uh, community, mm -hmm. when you give birth, your father would uh, choose a name for you. They that's will do the it. consultation, they'll tell you the name of the baby. So I felt that it was a waste of time. But that's okay. why the fact that I was an alcoholic. But that is what happens. You can't give your own son your name. Your father or your grandmother would give you the name. Mm. We went probably we go to church, they would choose or they whatever. Mm. So I so didn't traditionally it. you didn't have a rule in yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't support it. In she was way. bringing her friends, as some taba ladies or whatever. So she told me that. But what of the funding the whole thing? Lucky enough, it was uh, end of the month, and I just had, sal I had my money salary. Then I gave her that money she wanted just to go away. Uh, so I went out early, as early as 4 a.m. To that, drink? Yes, my mom, that was even late that day. The time that I would leave as early as 3 a.m. To go and drink? Yes. If you are lucky that I even come home and I'm leaving. <laughs> if you're not lucky, <laughs> I, wow. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't come here. Yeah. Wow. There are instances that I don't come. I and see. I would not call. I might even come home with uh, minus one slipper, one, minus one shoe, uh, wow. minus my bag, minus my phone. Whatever. It I, uh -huh. So, it, uh, Hannah, the, 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 the time enough you do, I was you know, where they send me born a boost of our money. Nah, I'd be sorry, uh, 2 a.m. no AP. 2 a.m. no AP, I'll call you, I'll call you, baby, I'll call you, I'll call baby, I'll Sports are almost close at that time. It's a, tell me about stopping in that, uh, Danny talk about me now. It's a, a one of me say, wait, wait, then, yeah, normal. It's a, me go, Cause I tell auntie, and I yeah yeah she says that I be far as I'm. from then I didn't call her, um, uncle for. 
From Accra Sakadra Hospital. Yeah. From Accra Hospital, one day you organized uh, Eric and Co. Yeah. And I was taken to uh, Pantai. I didn't know what happened. I woke up in the, the one of the wards and I asked one of the inmates, where is this? They didn't mind me. So two people fighting over um, remote control. Finally, one of them told me this was Pantai. And I asked, why Pantai? If I'm even not well, but, but the authorities were to a level they necessary to let me out. I was furious, angry. I knew I had left that day very early drinking, but I woke up night and I was I was in Panda. Yes. Sports will be no wow one ma at the crowd. Wow. Wow. I thought me which money I friend me say me couldn't have been a member. Yeah I said me my excuses send a me on my my from Kokumi na me more kukumi. See from Kukumi to my dinner my coaching sports or one that walk up. Wow. Well, she's telling us about some of the things she used to go through and how sometimes late, late or early, early AM, in the, they, they would call her and say, your husband is drunk somewhere, you know, come and take care of him and take him away. <laughs> and that's how he ended our part time, by the way. He went out drinking and passed out and they called her and he came and... Yeah, that, took that, that one was just a night, um, uh, stay up there, a night stay. I was left the next morning. Uh, they injected me, gave me some medicine, and said I, I, they didn't have beds to accommodate me, but where I reached. The doctor cautioned me that uh, he saw that I'm, or they said I'm in school. If I don't stop uh, drinking alcohol, I would never complete my degree. And uh, I was left to go home. Mm -hmm. um, the first was with a, a, a class psychiatric hospital seen by Dr. Tio. I think they will have some of the, the, mm -hmm. the, the hospital cuts here. I, I want to find out from you, there's one final question from you. Not time be anywhere. We can say I worry they have to me to and I know I'm not going to do that. No, my madam for no crap. I say then I'm still doing with him. Mm. I say my worry, my worry not until say say me. Ubuano. Me ubuano. No face. Eh, uh, when it's a mad madam for no be. Eh, uh, almost like they don't talk to me because really I'm, yes. I'm in a say I'm in my dear me here with uh, Papa we. As a young lady, I me. me we go through this. Mm. After, mm. Mm. Me, mm. Me, mm. Me, mm. Me. Now, I'm just trying to find out from her what was the deciding factor to stay in this marriage because obviously it was like living with a drunk, you know. And she says, well, when she first met him, she wasn't in that state, so she was doing her best to make sure to see what help she could get him. So now let's fast forward because now yeah. you are you are all cleaned up. Mm. Sober, I hope. Yes. How long have you been sober? Four years. Four uh, years. Uh, yeah, I came out um, uh, twenty twelve. Okay. And um, seal it, seal it with prayer, meditation, and um, work of God. Then started load gun. Life out of alcohol and drugs. Mm -hmm. I said, so that made you start this program. Yes, I yeah. in rehab. I was still in denial. But my wife visited me virtually every weekend with TZ and until Dr. K. Sego. K. Dr. K. Sego is a clinical psychologist and he was uh, uh, supervising my recovery. He's a very good doctor. I have never seen um, a man like him before. Wow. He, there were times he would um, talk to me more than two hours. They were, really? I, I would get angry that every day you are meeting doctor. Every day, meet doctor for what? Then when he, he meets you, he takes his time to... Um, get to know what really cost what you are going through. Sometimes it's not the drinking alone. There is a cost or there is something that you've missing that is pushing you to drink. He needs to get through that. Looked at your pictures and talked to family members. It's, it's a long process mm -hmm. before they get to know what really happened. So I was still living in a state of denial and my birthday was uh, celebrated in rehab. And it, I'm my 25th December born. So I don't know whether it's a ploy. Up to there, I've been asking Dr. Sego, was it a ploy? Um, they came to Anchor 4 with um, uh, non-alcoholic wine. The first time my birthday celebrated and was in rehab. So when they came, the last baby that uh, denied, I mean, that it wasn't part of the rehab, refused me. I wanted to even touch any of them. They, none of them wanted to get closer to me. Until when they were singing the happy birthday to you, I started asking questions in my mind. How did I get to this stage? How did it all happen? My colleagues are out there struggling. Mm. I was in school. Mm. Some were at even defending my proposal to my 
research program to get a degree in accounting. How did it all happen? And it dawned on me that I caused it and I became emotional. The tears came down uncontrollably. Wow. I knew I had caused it. And as, after that, I said, I'm ready. Wow. I am ready. Wow. It, all recovery starts with acceptance. Mm -hmm. When I really accepted that I am the cause of it, mm -hmm. taking full responsibility, 100% responsibility. Mm -hmm. So you, said, you accept that you caused it? I've caused so it. So you have to take the responsibility? I have caused it. Nobody, no excuses. Nobody, no, do, you can't give, um, explain, you can't keep on rationalizing why or justifying why you are drinking. You are the cause of it and you would fix it. And uh, I said, Han, I will do it. Mm. And uh, the next time that I met Dr. Sego, I told him, Doctor, I'm ready to do it. I'm ready Fantastic. to do this. So he would give me an assignment. Uh, Roger, go and do this. You would study your colleagues, write, um, and try to diagnose their problems, and come out with uh, you more or less trying to, to understand drugs, understand people's behavior. I think what I've learned in rehab for six months is more than my 20 years schooling. Wow. In rehab, wow. you learn about real life. You wow. learn about what you would be confronted with challenges in the, in the in this world it's not going to be easy for you when you come up from school so sometimes i don't understand why these things are not taught in school mm, life mm, real life mm, situations mm. for are instance you, people are you coaching you're, you're, you're low thing and you're coaching people yes, and yes. you're sharing this story we are with doing that people. a lot doesn't only uh, do advocacy against alcohol and drugs alone we try to support people inspire them to know that nobody can prevent you from who you ever you want to become mm. it is you if you believe yourself, you can do whatever you want to do. And every change starts with the altering of your mind. Mm -hmm. If you're able to change the way you think and see the world, you can change your situation. Mm -hmm. It is never too late to be what you might have been. That's what I always tell my wife. I am going to reach wherever I want to reach. The schooling that I wasn't able to get my degree, I, I, when I came back, my, the, my group had graduated. I went to write the papers, still struggling with that. I, if, if they want me to start, or if I'm not able to graduate, I would start a program somewhere. Mm -hmm. It is never too late to be what you might have been. Wow. All start with self-belief self and order of your mm -hmm. mind. Yes. Adriana, how, how do you feel now seeing him? You've seen him go through all the West, and now he's back, almost determined. How, do you, how does that make you feel? How do you feel about him now? Na mini mi nkwala ina na mi nkwala kura po no amu mpesa amu mbenu. Sa. Sisi ya diye amu fiyo hoye. Amu ani. We fight to to come to you. My laps who sit on my lap. With your mother, the mother also fights to sit. There's a lot of peace in that house. When you understand the problem, you you can fix it. Change begins from you, not from the inner other person. If I want my wife to respect me or to read me, I need to respect her first. It's reciprocal. You want you don't you expect give to others. That's why I'm serving society. I Jesus was telling his disciple that if you want to be a great leader, you need to be a servant leader. And that those are things that I I I use as principle guiding my 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 daily life. The, I might not be perfect yet. I might. You can't even have a perfect person, but I'm trying every day to to change situation around me. Mm -hmm. And when I have the get up situation to speak on any platform, I let the youth understand that the day that your peers would influence your peers would convince you that if you don't drink alcohol, you are not a guy. If you don't drink alcohol, you don't belong to this world. The youth would never, or your peers would never tell you that one day you find yourself in a rehab. Mm -hmm. They will never tell you the consequence, the debilitating effect of alcohol. They don't know, they're ignorant. So that is one of the reasons that gave me this passion that, oh, even the guys that I started drinking with, some of them are no more. Mm. That, that day, when I went to look back and count the number of guys that went to drink the day I took the first calabash, we were more than 15. About 10 of them are dead. Are dead. Mm. I want to wrap up on a very positive note because right now you have load, you give lectures. How can people contact you, students, churches, whatever? groups if they need you to come and talk to them and 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 help them how do we get in touch with load Is yeah you, you load stands for you added s but load oh, load not load L -O -A -D. Okay. life okay. out of alcohol and drugs mm -hmm. ghana mm -hmm. it's uh, incorporated on the 16th of april last year and got a certificate to commence business on the 20th of uh, april we launched load ghana on the 20 See, last year, mm. the Deputy Junior Minister was there, Honorable Daniel Sain, who more or less support this program like his own. Um, I would even want to thank some few people. The Regional Health Directorate have been very supportive. Basic Needs Ghana, the Regional Coordinating Council, 
uh, currently, I, at the time that I was up, the regional minister, he responded. Mm. And he was part of the, he was the guest of honor this year, International Day Against Drug Abuse. And also thank the Sandman up. He chaired the, the function. NAP as Abzuk as Antelo mm. was there to support us. What then our uh, former past um, uh, commissioner of uh, deputy commissioner of letter co uh, commission, uh, Honorable David Adenzi Kanga, mm -hmm. currently mm -hmm. a member of Council of State, he was the guest speaker because we chose uh, uh, a team, uh, alcohol and drugs, a recipe to election violence, mm -hmm. and he spoke on that. So why we thank so many people? We can't mm -hmm. mention names. How, how can how can anybody reach you now? Yes, Those, we uh, we we will have. You can call uh, these numbers: zero five zero nine one two five three eight six zero five zero nine one two five three eight six or zero two four two two seven five eight one eight zero two four two two seven five eight one eight you can also follow me on the facebook abaroja tambire or load ghana uh, uh, site we have in caps when you 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 you, you search load ghana L O A D and Ghana, you get our Facebook site and follow Fantastic, we'll fantastic. And, 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 and we, the numbers and the website is on your screen right now. The Facebook contact, everything is on your screen right now. And you know what to do if you have any problems, drugs or alcohol related, just, just, just call loads. Chief, our time, otherwise, me and you can spend the. But thank you so much. Yes, but I would, for, I would uh, make one appeal. I know you have a lot of uh, speaking platforms. Don't hesitate to invite me. We have a lot of sermons. Uh, I title some of them, The Truth About Drugs. Okay. When I preach this sermon, a lot of guys will change. Okay. Yes. Okay. I ask God to, to, to empower my mouth and give me wisdom yeah. to, to be able to um, transfer or transmit this message to the youth. Okay. So give me platforms. Fantastic. Yeah. So everybody with a platform, you know where to call. And I think I'm going to why are the to I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much. Uh, this has been a wonderful, wonderful experience, and I hope we all learned a lot. And uh, for stick around, we'll be right back. If you're having as much fun as I am, stay tuned. If you're not, you need deliverance. We'll be right back.